Good evening, juniors. You're now my juniors. Hey, so I want to give you a quick overview. Tomorrow is your registration, tomorrow and Tuesday. So we start with you tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. So um, I wanted to give you a layout. So first and foremost, you have to ask yourself in the morning how you're feeling. So there will be a health check first thing when you get to the campus. So we're off of the senior parking lot by the fence, by the baseball field fence. So you need to ask yourself how you're feeling, if you have a cough, if you have a fever, because all those questions will be asking you um, at the health check um, tomorrow morning. So again, uh, make sure you honor, and we're all honoring the public health officials um, regulations, right? Which is, we want you to wear your mask and we want you to keep uh, physical distance. So that's gonna be key tomorrow as you're going about the campus. Um, the uh, first official station will be your verification um, if whether or not you have submitted your data confirmation. So this would be important. This is gonna be at the PAC. So the PAC has a ticket booth. So I want you to imagine you're gonna buy a ticket and that's where you have somebody that will tell you whether or not you have completed your data confirmation because this is gonna be important uh, as you go about the campus. Your second station will be where you take your ID. Um, so look nice. Um, any belongings that you had left from the closure of COVID-19 back in way back in March, um, you'll be able to pick up there. And then there'll be some forms, literature, information for you and your parents as well in that area. So that's gonna be the small gym. So again, you'll be taking your ID picture and you'll be getting your ID at that small gym. So that'll be your second official station. And then um, you, if you're having issues with data confirmation and you need access to a computer, um, you can go over to room 215. This year, we're completely online, maybe forever. We're completely on, this is what I mean by that. We're completely online when it comes to, you don't have to print anything in regards to your data confirmation or emergency card. So when you come, when your parents or you come to the end of your process and it says print emergency information or emergency card um that's it you're, you're you're done and tomorrow we'll verify that for you as you come to window one and if you need to go to room 215 that's another area they'll tell you you're completed your uh registration process um and then also your confirmation of data so that's going to be important tomorrow as well and then um your last station if you need it is in the library so in the library, you'll have an opportunity, again, if you're um, turning in any forms, um, on the website, there is uh, a place for a hotspot application. You can also turn that in the library. And then if you have a damaged Chromebook, you can also take it to the library and have it checked out. So that's gonna be what the library is all gonna be about. So it's gonna be a place where you can come and um, guess what, I have good news. You don't, we're gonna start the first six weeks of school completely online and you don't need textbooks. Um, we're still trying to make arrangements for those special classes that um, have um, some hands-on needs as well as our electives. So those courses where it's still, you know, we're, it's, it's been difficult. We're still figuring things out, but for the rest of the classes, you're gonna be online and we're gonna use Apex um, Learning at that platform. So if you're uh, familiar with it, that's the way we're going right now, we're starting the school completely online. We're using Apex as our content or like our books. So just wanna make, your, uh, make sure you're aware of that. And that's what it's looking like. So again, um, if you wanna make a change in your courses, and I know again, we're finalizing things, um, you'll, get a, you'll be able to get a uh, course change uh, form in the small gym. So you can turn into the library if you wish to do so or if you have a hunch or if you already have um, something you want to request. So other than that, I hope to see you tomorrow. I'm excited to see you. I know school's going to start in about three weeks, but we're going to be virtual. But tomorrow, maybe I'll get a chance to say hi to you. So thank you so much for listening to me. And I hope to have a great day tomorrow as well as for you. All right. Have a good night.